Okay, I don't know if you can see anything, what this even looks like. Behind me is the lights of Anchorage, Alaska. We're up here. This is Flat Top Mountain. It overlooks Anchorage. We're right at a place where we could take one of two trails. We need to go straight up the mountain here. Very steep trail. Sparse trail this time of year. Not a lot of people have been that way. Or we can go further down here and there's a main trail that goes up. They both go to the same place. So we're going to go this way here. I don't know if anybody will ever see this video because um, in the dark there's not much to see. So we're going to turn on our headlamp here. Hit the trail. Happy hiking. You can see the sun's just starting to come up. Just thinking about it. We're going to go up there eventually. Hopefully you can see that's probably really grainy. There's Anchorage, Alaska. Way down there, and it is currently. Let me check the time here. It's 9:11 right now. December 13th or so. I think what I'm going to do with this video is at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about. The gear that you really need for winter hiking, just the essentials. I mean, there's a million things you can get, but once it's light, we'll look at some gear, kind of the main gear that you have to have. All right, we'll check in when it's lighter. All right, the sun's just starting to come up. Again, that's Anchorage, Alaska. We're kind of on a trail. It's packed down. It's kind of nice. Take a look at the sun, where the sun's at right now. It's back there. It's a ways, though. Hopefully we'll get to sunrise. This may be grainy and horrible looking. I'll go slow. I like it because it kind of looks like the moon. You know, in the pre-morning light, everything's only black and white. It's kind of cool. All right, a little update. We started down there, came up there. That is peak one right there overlooking Anchorage, Alaska. There's Anchorage still. What we're doing is we are heading up Peak 2. Peak 2 is generally a little steeper. I'm hoping to get there about the time the sun rises, but I think I'm gonna beat sunrise and not gonna see it. Um, stay tuned. Where I currently am. Heading up Peak 2, backside of Flat Top. There's Anchorage right there. Great morning. I What did I have for breakfast today? I had, oh, what did I have? Oh, I had a, um, a Uncrustable. It was awesome. Working along this spine here. We'll head on up. It's gonna be an awesome view, even if we don't get there for sunrise. Okay, here we are, up on the summit of peak two. That one there is peak three. We're not doing that today. Go all the way around here. You can see the dark clouds coming in. That's Cook Inlet. You can see the lights from Anchorage a little bit. And then down in this bowl here, you can see that's Anchorage as well. Okay, I'm in the middle of doing a time-lapse sunrise behind me. So we'll see that, how that turns out. In between now and then while I'm wasting time, or investing time, I um, thought I'd share some gear, kind of the essential winter gear, if you will, that you need to have, I think, if you go hiking. And the first thing I would say is, for winter hiking, go out and do it. You'll learn gear along the way and say, I have to have this or I have to have that. Or maybe even I don't need this or I don't need that. Um, I, myself, I've probably been on, oh, five or six winter hikes this winter already. I haven't done anything extreme. They've all been day hikes probably an hour or so, two hours. Today will be three hours actually, but nothing crazy. The weather hasn't gotten below zero on any of my hikes. Well, it's been down to zero, but not below zero. And so I haven't really went extreme yet, um, but I'll share with you some of the stuff that I do have. Um, and there are things that I think that you should carry. Um, number one, I would have a face mask. When it gets cold, the wind comes up, get a face mask. You'll be surprised how 
nice things can be if you're warm and if the wind's not biting your face. Um, I usually have goggles. I didn't, I don't have any goggles with me today because I knew the wind wouldn't be blowing. But if it gets crazy and the wind picks up, it feels like you're being sandblasted. And so goggles are a good thing to have. I like to have um, tops on that have hoods so I can regulate my heat by taking one hood down. And it's, I hiked all the way up here. I'm sweating. It's starting to get cold. So I'm gonna kind of um, stay in warm mode. But um, I can go, you know, when I'm hiking, I might be like this. If the wind comes up, I might put one hood on, zip that up. Wrong zipper. It gets colder, but you get up on the summit, two hoods up, zip that up, nice and warm. Let's see, I got, I have a plethora of hand gear today. These I did on the final summit, they're just a thin um, glove, but they got gore stopper in them so they keep your hands warm and they keep the wind from coming out. Um, winter camping, I always carry a headlamp. Um, you might not need it when you start out, but if you get lost or, or whatever, you're gonna need one to get out. And it gives you that piece of confidence where you know when it's starting to get dark, kind of, you can always go, if it gets bad enough, I'll get my headlamp out, no big deal. I have a little bag of stuff that I have in here. And, and again, I've not cleaned my pack out for a while, so I don't 100% even know what's in here. So let's see. Got another face mask. Nice. I don't know why you'd need two, but I got two today. Um, I got some sunblock during the summer. That's nice in the winter on a really, especially spring hiking. It's nice to have that little toilet paper. Never leave home without that. Um, chapstick. Have to have chapstick. I carry chapstick in the summer, but for sure in the winter. The colder it gets, the drier the air gets, the more you're going to need chapstick. I have a backup headlamp in case the first one doesn't work out so well for me. Batteries go dead or whatever. I like to carry two headlamps just because um, I think they're that important. Let's see what else I Whoops. Bolts. Bolts coming up. Let's, um, before I go further, let's get into the main pack for a second. I generally carry, in the winter time, I generally carry a puppy coat. I bet you can't hear anything right now because of the wind. It's nice when you get to the summit or if things go crazy, put on your puffer coat. And I got a pair of gloves. I started out in these gloves. These are a cheap glove. Um, I, I don't even know if they have Gore-Tex in them, but they kept my hands warm. Today I did bring crampons. Crampons are like mega spikes. And I don't want to take them apart really, but you can see those things hook up. And I got protectors on, on them so that the spikes, put that up where you can see it maybe. And so when you're um, really getting crazy, on ice or glaciers or even heavy snow, that's a nice thing to have. Um, I have a winter hike I plan on doing sometime this winter where for sure I will need these. I'm kind of actually conditioning for that hike right now. Let's see, another pair of gloves. Here, these are a warmer, thicker glove. Gore-Tex on the outside, Gore-Tex liner, something warm on the inside. That's kind of like when it starts getting cold. These are the Megas. When it gets really, really cold, these are puffer ones. Oh, they're already warm. My hands are cold. That feels nice. I'll put those on when I get done with this little program. Another one of those. Another one of those. I happen to have, I wear these cross-country skiing a lot. I call them my camel toes. Um, but it helps keep your fingers warm. They're warmer than gloves, but not as warm as mittens. And again, I've just been putting stuff in there all winter. What else do I got? Um, oh, another face thing. Wow, I got three today. That's kind of crazy. A pair of wool gloves. That's always nice. Uh, 
Um, in here, I've got some extra batteries for my um, for my headlamps. I got some paracord, some mole skin. That's really left in there from summer because right now I would not take my socks off to get all the way down to my shoes, probably if I had to, unless it was really bad. And then I have some Carmex, more lip stuff in there. Another pair of gloves, a little bit more paracord. Some hand warmers, a couple of bars. I'll leave one of those before we get done here. And a lighter's in here as well. And then I would say always carry a camera. Um, take a picture. Anytime you summit, anytime you get up somewhere big, take a picture. Your friends are going to ask, hey, how come you're doing this or that? Show them your pictures. I think that pictures are always worth bragging about. Um, I got poles. I think winter camping or winter hiking, excuse me, poles are, I won't say a necessity, but they're darn close to it. These poles I've added baskets to. These unscrew. They'll come all the way off. But in the snow, it's nice to have baskets so when you stick it in, it doesn't go as far down and it stops it. I would also say a good backpack is a must. Um, spend a couple hundred bucks. Get yourself a good backpack. You'll never regret it. Um, I also have water. This is really left over, and this setup is left over from fall hiking. In the fall, I like to just carry a Nalgene bottle. In the winter, and in the summer, I put a hydration pack in here. In the winter, the tube that comes from the hydration pack has insulation on it. And, um, you know, in the summer and in the winter, are the two times that you really need to make sure you stay hydrated. In the fall and the spring, I think that the temperatures are such and the air is such that you can get by with less water. But in the wintertime, when the air is this dry, every breath it's sucking moisture out of your body so it's important to have water and since it's packed in my pack and it's cold and I don't want to stop um, I have not drank enough water today so I'm gonna have some water when I get done here and so um, I got a time-lapse sunrise going on back there I hope it turns out probably not gonna stay up here until the Sun comes all the way up because I'm already starting to get cold but um, at the end of this I will well actually I won't I was going to do a gear, kind of the essential gear that you need for winter camp, for winter hiking. I think that this is part of it. Let me show you one more thing, two more things actually. I have some, these are Gore-Tex lined pants. They zip up on the sides. So when you're, when things get, when you start sweating, you can unzip them part way, get some ventilation. When you don't need that ventilation, need more warmth, you can zip them up. And then I also have on today, I have lots of different footwear that I wear, but today I'm wearing um, hiking boots. They're insulated hiking boots here. Got to have gaiters. I think that I would put that on the necessity list. Gaiters is a necessity. I have micro spikes on today and um, you got to have, you know, foot gear is important and then being able to hook up or get traction is essential. So you got to have something that you can get good traction with. And when it's, um, when you're hiking on compact snow and ice, these are nice. When it gets crazy, um, or super super steep you might go to your crampons or on pure ice you might have to go to your crampons um, some people get by with less but I'm a huge fan of spikes all right check out the sunrise in a little bit happy hiking we are on the summit of peak two panoramic here. That's Anchorage below me. 